Hello and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you get no nonsense, direct step by step approach to getting your tasks done. I'm Richard, you're you, and today we're looking at putting video inside of your animation all within Blender. Hoop -dee -hoop -dee -hoo. Hello and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you get a no-nonsense direct step-by-step -step approach to getting your tasks done. I'm Richard, you're you, and today we're looking at... Okay, so here is our empty scene. So first of all, we're going to want to bring in via the add-on images as planes. If you don't have that, shoot to your user preferences, type in planes at the top, and you should see import images as planes. Make sure that is selected on. And while you're there, if you don't have dynamic spacebar, type in that and get in 3D view dynamic space for menu make sure that is selected on as well because that is cool and while you're at it put in this animation the dynamic parent or in fact you won't have that because I added that myself so never mind ignore that okay so when you get back click in control U to save the settings there so you won't have to keep doing that every time right so let's bring in our first video go to add mesh go to images as planes find your video I got a few here we're gonna test out Starting with uh, an AVI, we're going to bring in the AVI, have a look at this, go to Materials tab and select in the Materials tab here, Shadeless, so we can see what's going on. Uh, rotate on the X there, we'll put that up like that, scale it up some. So let's see that now. If we scroll across the timeline, you can see the video plays. Uh, so all is good there. Now, Go into your texture tab and if you scroll down it's automatically selected that it's a movie. Uh, it's detected that by itself. We've got three scroll uh, sliders here which are friggin awesome. So the first one just shows you how many frames are in the video that you've got selected here. And what frame it's on. Right now it's on zero. As you can see that changes when you click around. Um, if that has got a one or zero then you won't be able to scroll through your video sometimes they import that way for some reason so just click this button here match video length and it'll automatically detect it's got 250 frames and bring them all in so now you can slide through your video the start is the start frame you want the video to start playing in your timeline so at, right now it's on one so it'll start playing there if you wanted to start playing let's say 40 you can click 40 and now if we play it from the beginning we don't get anything until frame 40 and then the video starts to play that is awesome so you can time things up properly offset means the the video itself if you don't want it to, to start playing the very beginning of the video let's see now we got a ufo that pops out of the buildings there where is he there he is so he comes out at frame 49 it says in brackets there so but this started at 49 so now at the beginning of the timeline it'll start from frame 49 of the video so if you press play it comes straight out so you can time up uh, how the video is displayed perfectly to position so there you go that's that's nice and that is basically it we got auto refresh if you don't have that selected on it means you can't scroll through your video although it will still render as you know a video um, it won't I'll let you see it in the timeline so we want to keep that on so we can see what we're doing and cyclic 
means that once the video is finished like when you get up here it'll just stay like that if you keep it on if you put it on then it'll start from the beginning again so if you wanted a video to repeat itself over and over then you want to keep that on so it'll just keep repeating and repeating and repeating once the video gets to 250 frames it'll just start from frame one again or zero so that is it that's nice and quick and easy so while we got a few minutes here i'm just gonna try some other formats i was an avi we're gonna switch to a mov let's try a mov uh see what we got going on here okay we got ruben here let's, let's quickly switch on the shadeless and it's the same thing again he's he's going along there like that lovely he's moving that works so mov definitely works or dot move whatever you want to call it let's go and take a look at what else we got uh mwv let's take a look at this one we'll take the x push uh all right i keep forgetting to set the shadeless i'll show you this in a sec so that one should play as well yep the little bug is going along look off he goes and flies away and then it goes black because it's only a short video this one is just like that and quickly um it's like a cyclic so once he flow flown away there it'll pop oops somebody at my door i'll be one second okay sorry about that uh going back to where it was where was i um yeah that will repeat itself now as we go along the timeline so moving whoa moving on let's get the last one i've got here is a mp4 bring that in rotate on the x let's have a little look uh on a better way to do this by the way let me just delete that better way to do this uh, when you're going to in import them to go to select it there and then scroll down here and hit shadeless there now they will all come in shadeless that makes it a little easier there you go uh, okay let's take a look keep it flat actually just put it down there so we can see it out of the way so this now Oh, it's lagging properly really lagging now let's press play there you go it's really lagging now just just select down here frame drop in so the speed may improve a little bit there you go it's a bit better drop some frames so you can see all four of them running together now so all those four formats do work um, I'm not sure what other formats you may want to use I have to try it out and see if it works I think it probably should blend is pretty versatile uh, so there you go that is it that's all i'm going to say on it um yeah very easy as you can see just time them up over here with your start and offset switches here and uh have fun doing it so as always i uh, hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something hope you will put it to good use and i'll see you again don't forget to subscribe and be creative um bye for now